markup is a great feature to use on your iPhone or your iPad. You can edit or modify screenshots, pictures, images, uh, even PDFs. So how to use it? Well, first you have to locate the image, the PDF, the document that you want to either annotate or modify. So I'm going to go in files and um, in PDFs and I'm going to bring up a PDF. You have to press on this icon right here, which is kind of like a, the tip of a pencil inside a circle. Once you press on it, you have tools that you can use to modify the document. So you can choose a pencil to write. You can use a highlighter. You can use uh, a pencil. Uh, eraser. Uh, you have access to a bunch of different colors. You and if you press on the press on the plus sign, there's a lot of neat features. So you can add a text box right here. You can move it where you want and type. I prefer typing than writing. There you go. You can also add a signature. I love this this feature. Uh, this is my signature. It, it was already uh, in the memory of the iPad. I can remove it just to show you what it looks like. So I'm removing it and I'm adding a new one, which is going to be the same one. There you go. And you can place this wherever you want on the document. Like if it's a letter, you can put it at the end of the letter. And um, you also have access to different shapes that you can embed onto your document. So that's how markup works. Now, on the PDF, it was pretty easy to find it on the top right corner, but sometimes it's not that easy. So I'm going to go in Photos to show you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to use any picture that I have here. Sorry for all these images that my daughter took. <laughs> I'm trying to look for a, a normal one. Okay. So let's say that I wanted to to use markup with this picture. Well, I don't see the markup icon anywhere, but I do see edit. So if you press edit, you look for it, you don't see it. I don't see edit either. Um, but I do see three dots. Always click on the three dots when you're looking for something. And there you go. Markup is here. I select it and there you go. I have my toolbar and my options. And uh, another thing that I would like to show you, you can use markup on any uh, Safari page. So right now I'm in Wikipedia on an article that talks about cars and I don't see markup here. Uh, what I do here on any internet page, uh, you press on the export button, which is right here. So the square with the arrow that points up. There you go. And um, now if I scroll down, I will find markup right here. So if I press here, there you go. Now I have my markup icon right here on the top right corner. I press on it and I have access to my tools. So that's it. This is how you use markup on an iPad. <laughs>